Welcome back to Afternoon Express here on S3. As we open up to all the inspiring recipes in the kitchen ahead of Easter. And we know this. It's a fact. Easter in South Africa simply would not be the same. It's nothing. It would not exist. Come on. And you can fight me on this one. Without pickled fish, right? We love pickled fish here in South Africa. And every family has their own recipe. And we're bringing you a recipe that is sure to win hearts. I was almost, I was almost canceled because I was speaking to my colleagues, and you were saying, to my producer, and they were like, you don't know how to make pickled fish and you're a whole chef on a TV show. Next week on Afternoon Express, <laughs> you get to meet your brand new chef replacement for to me. <laughs> but my friend, I had to, you know, so I spoke to Anel. I was like, Anel, my friend, help me. How yes. do I get it right? And she gave me this amazing recipe that we're about to make now okay. because I love pickled fish. Mm. I've never made it before. She was like, here's my recipe. It's foolproof. I tried it out. It works. Right. As you can see, we've got our onions in the pan Lots. here, sautéing at a slow heat. Unlike other dishes, this is the one that you do not want to brown. You don't want to basically caramelize the onions. You, you want them want to, to cook do? and so be soft, okay. but still maintain their integrity. Or, but we don't want mm -hmm. them browning too much where they're like grilled and sautéed and, and okay. um, caramelized. So while they're doing their thing there, we're going to now start building the flavor, which is, I think, the one thing that is signature with pickled fish, my friend. You get the sweetness, mm. you get the spices, mm. all those aromatics that you get from the garlic and the ginger and then we've got some coriander seeds here as well so let me start layering it and not just talk so while you do that what is the most important part of making pickled fish is it in the sauteing of your onions or is it in the bringing the spices together look SA can fight me in this but I think the most important part with making pickled fish is the waiting after you've made it and you let those flavors ferment and get together and mm. pickle and be delicious this is gonna be interesting I would love to hear <laughs> you let us know on our social media we want to hear from you your own family and your experience yeah how have you done it how do you do it? Because every family does make it differently True. and do it differently, but it all does come together so beautifully in a uniquely South African way. In a way. uniquely South African way. And that's another thing because I was like, I can't be cancelled by my family, but I also can't be cancelled by the rest of South no, Africa. And this is a recipe that Anel said that it's a tried and trusted one. Mm -hmm. And yes, you can obviously add your own flavorings and, and, and flavor to it however you'd like Sounds to. Good. But I think this is a standard basic because we've got all the things you need in there. We've got yeah. some cumin going in there as well. Cumin. Along with our aromatics there, I added that ginger and the garlic. Mm -hmm. I'm also adding a bit daily for two, just to give us that signature, uh, you know, pickled fish flavor. And then we start adding the one thing that is very important with uh, pickled fish that I've noticed is the turmeric because it gives it that beautiful yellow color, mm. that beautiful golden color for me. I like to call it liquid gold. Or, yeah, you know? because we're not caramelizing our onions as well, I suppose we do need as much color as we can get in the pan or the pot, however you're making it, yeah. because otherwise it would otherwise look bland. There's yeah. nothing bland about a Slavkin pickle fish. At no. all, at all. So as you can see, I've started with just the spices and add the aromatics, you know, all those base flavors that we add in here. Yes, ma'am. And then after that is when we add the two most important parts, which is our sugar and our vinegar. I love every part of this recipe. You said the most important part is this, the most important. Just as I thought it was the most important, the next thing became most important. So <laughs> this tells you that don't mess with this recipe, everything here is important. Because the whole recipe is important. Mm. It is about layering flavors. You know how it's about the stew and stuff. Yeah. There is no, in essence, there is no method in terms yeah. of spices. You can okay. put them all at once. With this one, it is really about layering those flavors okay. and making sure, Jorge, your pickled fish stands out, Baba. So when you say layering, do you mean that introducing each one at, at the correct time? It's a phased time. in approach, exactly. like the lockdown when it began. Phased <laughs> in approach? Please do not take us there. out approach? We have made it out alive. Here we are celebrating <laughs> our freedom. Do not take us back to that oh, time. Yes, we are celebrating Easter 2023, yes. and all we want to have is good memories. Awesome. So, done. Now, the next step, I'm going to add our sugar into this. Mm -hmm. And as we add the sugar, the reason why we're adding ah, all that sugar... It's a pudding now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, because we're getting salty, sweet, uh -huh. and Oh, because I was going to say, how are you going to... Okay. So that's vinegar going in. Yes, this is vinegar going in. Oh, the smell in. of it. And this is one... I did say it's important. Mm, mm, this is a key factor to making your, your pickled fish because it gives you then that balance of the salty, yeah. sweet, vinegary, you know, mm. the sour flavors, you've got the sweet flavors, yeah. all of that coming together. And all we want now is just for our sugar to dissolve. Mm -hmm. Once our sugar has dissolved to the point that we desire it mm. to be, then it's mm -hmm. fish way too. And what I've done is I've chosen to go with one of our clear bowls here. And I'm going with your filled bowl here of what you've already made. I'm proud that you're doing that. Mm. I really am proud. I feel like we've done our work as Afternoon Express chefs because that is in essence how most people eat their pickled mm. fish with a hot cross bun. 
and he can't even speak, so I'll carry on South Africa. <laughs> As you can see, our sauce is doing all the things that we needed to do here. I've made sure to add our sugar and also added our spices and our vinegar in there. Just gonna finish it off with a touch of salt before I switch off the heat. Because I actually did have a conversation with Anal as well and I asked her, since you've taught me how to make this now, mm. when it comes to layering the sauce, is it important for us to make sure that the sauce is cooled down before adding it into the fish or can we add it hot? And she says it's basically perfect, it's up to you. Uh, some people do layer it hot, some people have it cold. Do you prefer to layer it? Why since I need to I thought I would say hot so I'm not going. Mm. Eh? I'll tell you, he's not even answering me so because the food it. is so Carry good. On. He's like, mm. Mm. <laughs> So I, pref I don't prefer, I've never had to make this before. I so guess. I have right. no preference, but I prefer what you've made. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, our there fish is. is already cooked. So mm -hmm. what we did is we just put it in a bit of flour, just dusted it lightly, and then fried it mm -hmm. to make sure it's nicely cooked because obviously we're not cooking it again. Mm -hmm. And then now we're going to add our sauce into this pot. I'm going to be gentle with adding the sauce. Fill it up. And then we add another layer of our fish into this baby. Uh, and South Africa, I think I'm gonna throw it to you to ask you, mm -hmm. how long do you think is, how do you long should you wait before indulging in your pickled fish? Some people say, give it a week. Until Some you're hungry enough. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me how long you wait before you think your pickled fish is ready. Mm -hmm. I was just gonna go into the fridge to chill and get ready for about a week. And then, asidle. Asidle, go and get this recipe. Afternoonexpress.co.za, it's simply not Easter without this elevation. This tastes amazing. And the marriage of all those three flavors, mm. très moi. Très bien. Très bien.